afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Baltimore Orioles and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's Phillies baseball next on the show. Minor, a southpaw from Tennessee, is the man on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, with a guy like him, you're just looking for quality innings. Usually he'll give you six or seven, and he keeps the team in the ball game. And when you think about it, what else do you really want from your starter? He's capable of shutting a team down and dominating, but that's not what's expected of him all the time. Stepping in, Ryan McKenna. He will lead this one off today. Number 13. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now a swing on. Look out! Over in the third base dugout as that thing nearly took out half the coaching staff. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Slider is laid off on the inside as it just misses the zone. Game time temperature this afternoon stuck in an even 50 degrees as we begin play. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. A full count now for the Orioles center fielder. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so the count's gone from 0-2 to 3-2. Two. Two. Slow roller down the third baseline. Throw not in time, so he's able to beat one out here to kick off the ball game. I know in today's game, everybody's trying to go yard, but can you look at having a better at bat as a leadoff hitter? You take it full count, you make the pitcher work, and then you come through with a knock. Great start. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. goes per second strike called now the throw down way late and he's in there easily at second well I think he's making it pretty obvious why he's batting leadoff isn't he works his way on base to start the game and then does even better by swiping second to put himself into scoring position he's trying to make an impact from the get-go in this one to first Hoskins grabs it cleanly and it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here so a definite RBI spot here. Runner at third, one away. And that'll bring up the power hitting outfielder, Trey Mancini. He's set and the pitch. A ball and no strikes. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? This Ed Drummond, he's a good umpire. Fair umpire, good ball and strike umpire. Pretty much straight down the road. That's all you look for, Dan. Just be consistent. I don't care if you're given two to three inches off the outside corner, but you can't do it on the inside corner. If you're going to stick to one thing and stay consistent with it, no player will have a gripe with you. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And this is taken in shy of the wall, but that should be plenty deep to score the run. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. Well, this ends up being a sack fly, but you've got to love the effort out there. Sacrificed his body to make that catch, and I'll tell you, that didn't feel good. Probably saved extra bases by making that play. So bases are empty here with two gone. And digging in next at the plate will be Renato Nunez. First pitch on its way. Fouled away. 
Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Oh, There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Two out, nobody on. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So it's one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Orioles one and the Phillies nothing. Hunter Harvey gets the ball for the Orioles in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, this guy has what we call Uncle Charlie. What's that? That's the 12 to 6 curveball. Simply look at your watch and look at the 12 and look at the 6. This guy throws old school. They call it a straight downer. However you want to call it, a 12 to 6 hook. This guy has one of the best ones in the game right now. Now at the plate, Cesar Hernandez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Alberto has it, and a good throw gets him one gone. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. First pitch coming, here it is. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. One out, nobody on. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Mancini is there, two down. Batting third, the center fielder, Mark Withenshaw. So next to the plate for the Phils, Mark Withenshaw, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And now pitch on the way. Hard on the ground towards short, reined in. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail this one, one to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Tommy Edmonds, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Here comes the first pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. The 1-0 home is in there for strike one. Into right field, that's a base hit. Hey guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. So now to the plate, number 35. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Liner towards second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And big trouble as this gets to the wall now. 
Edmonds ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. Safe at the plate. And they now lead by two. And these guys are showing some consistency in the early going here. Got a run in the first One. inning, and this double ensures that they'll at least get a run here in the second. In now, Dwight Smith Jr. as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. Getting a few steps off the second there. Now the pitch fouled off. Now the one and one pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Chasing after it is Williams. He makes the catch and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And a daring move there pays off as he'll make it into third on the fly ball to left. The first base, number 79. Into the box now, number 79. He readies for his first plate appearance. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And it's fouled away. One out and a runner on third. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. This is where, as a batter, you've got to find a way to put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. That's great recognition right there on the part of the hitter. Not many guys lay off that one. That was a classic strikeout pitch. The 0-2 good change up with some depth. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. And nope, this one falls so he'll get another shot. Here's another one, too. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. Segura has it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. That grounder was hard hit, and sometimes the runner at third will have to hold on a ball like that, but he was off on contact, and they opted to take the out at first instead. Settling in now, Hunter Harvey. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The pitch. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Line drive to center field. Withenshaw is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The O's lead this thing three to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. First 
pitch of the at bat on its way. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. The 1-0. Hey, not a good spot to be down 2-0. This guy has some serious pop at the plate. I'm expecting a big hack here. And not the kind of swing you're hoping for on 2-0 as they bunch him up inside. It's 2-1 now. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. And he fouls this one off. Two two. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Alberto fields it cleanly, and the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that'll bring up Reese Hoskins. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. Bases are empty. One man out. into the corner and slicing foul. Misses, ball two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And he makes the throw to first. Hoskins is retired, two down now. Up next will be Nick Williams. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Here's the first pitch to him. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Two out, nobody on. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. They trail in this one, three nothing. Now to the plate, Ryan McKenna. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a flare out toward right center. In there, a base hit. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. Standing in now, Hanser Alberto, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. McKenna aboard here at first with nobody out. And this one's on the inside corner, one and one. Fox, now the pitch. 
That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. 2 and 2. Nobody out, runner on first. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left as the Orioles have opened things up now five to nothing. Not every home run is exactly the same. That ball was absolutely destroyed. So here's Trey Mancini. And the starter remains out there despite just allowing the long ball. We thought maybe they'd go and get him, but no indication of that yet. Yeah, to me, that home run was a sign that he's starting to get a little bit tired out there. It was a good pitch to hit, and it's typically the command that starts slipping when you're fatiguing a little bit. So I can't see him being out there much longer. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. Uh, the struggles continue, but that happens when you're not able to locate your secondary pitches. You become a one-pitch pitcher. He needs to start to get those secondary pitches over really fast. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. The 1-1 home. Strike two, swinging. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Two balls and two strikes to Mancini now. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Line drive to left. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Now back, the third base, Renato Luna. And here's Renato Nunez as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 1 0. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. A runner at first with no outs here. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. to send him packing for the second time. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Full count, three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Nobody out, runner on first. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball. So I think he wasn't expecting it at all. Vince Velasquez he is out from the bullpen here as he'll be making his fifth appearance this spring training. He 
into the box now. Tommy Edmonds as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Oh. Velasquez, 28 years old, he was taken in the second round back in the 2010 first year player draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. The 1-1 one, one home misses for the second ball. Wow, was he looking to swing the bat right there. Check pitch on a swing. That ball wasn't even close to the zone. The 2-1 and one on its way. Runner at first here, one man out. well above the letters with the fastball that time not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion three two count you send the runner and if it's a bad pitch it's ball four now the payoff pitch home smoke the other way high and deep to left racing back the left fielder and goodbye this one ain't coming back It's a two-run shot to straight away left as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. At the plate, number 35. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. On to first, and there were two down. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Ready now for Baltimore. Dwight Smith Jr., he flew out in his last at bat. First offering on its way. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. in the air out to center field. Withenshaw's there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. So four runs in the inning and they come on the strength of the two big flies. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Orioles seven and the Phillies nothing. Now at the plate, Omar Narvaez, seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey, with this big a lead, you have to just pound the zone and force this team to get aggressive in the box. Now the 1-0. -oh. And not the kind of swing you're hoping for on 2-0 and oh as they bunch him up inside. It's 2-1 and one now. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, man. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch.
Here now the 2-2. Down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. Little chopper back to the mound. And that's the first out. Had to protect there with two strikes. And he just got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Into the box now, Marwin Gonzalez. He'll swing it from the left side right here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. Skied into straightaway right. Mancini is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Batting nine, the pitcher. So striding forward now, Vince Velasquez. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. First delivery to him on the way. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. The 1-0. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7-0. In now, number 79, 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. A ball and two strikes. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Fastball is outside. It's full now, three and two. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. The three-two pitch. Fouled away. in the air out to center field. Withenshaw is there and he has it for the first out. The pitcher, number 56, Hunter Harvey. Digging in, Hunter Harvey hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Fouled off. <laughs> Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Late swing on that curveball right there to run the count 0-2. Don't think he recognized that one too well. 
And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Now at the plate, Ryan McKenna. He singled his last time up. McKenna. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Up top, it's 2-0. Well, that's another great hitting count here on 2-0. It's no wonder why they're up seven. Up and in. Big danger now. It's 3-0. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. No doubt he's clearly fighting his mechanics. Here it comes on 3-0. And, and a fastball misses their ball four. Second baseman, Hunter Alberto. Striding in, Hunter Alberto. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. No balls and a strike to count. Ready with the 0 1 behind 0 and 2 now two out with the man at first there's a fastball well off the plate for a ball hey I get it he wants to set up that breaking ball down and away but that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close The one two is a fastball that misses. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off speed pitches early, followed by back to back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Oh, and this deflects right off him. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for the Orioles, and they hold a 7 0 lead. Alex Cobb makes his way toward the mound now as he'll appear in his sixth ball game of the spring. Digging in to try it again, Cesar Hernandez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Bouncer to the left side. And there's one away. The batter, number two, Digging in for his second at bat, Gene Segura. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the pitch. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. left side scooped up throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash now that is the center fielder Mark Withenshaw now at the plate Mark Withenshaw he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time yeah I understand that Matty but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline I don't think he even concerns himself with that he has to put it on the ground that's part of what makes him successful 2-0 to the Philly center fielder Withenshaw is undoubtedly one of the best hitters in the sport and it doesn't matter right-handed or left-handed pitching he's one of the elite threats with a bat in his hands 
Yeah, barrel awareness, Matty. This guy has it. I don't think it's something that could be taught. I don't care how many hours you put it in the cage. This guy has the ability to put barrel on baseball consistently, no matter what side it's coming from. Now the 2-1. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2-2. Two and two. Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. Bounce to first. He's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. The Phillies down in order. They're down by a touchdown, 7-0. Medina gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. New inning set to get underway, and next it'll be the outfielder, Trey Mancini. He's ready. Here's the first offering. One oh. The one oh. He is swung on and missed in that strike one. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Now the one and one pitch. And there's a base hit on the line. So the Orioles get their leadoff man aboard to start the inning. There's another line drive leadoff single right now. I mean, they have an unbel they've had an unbelievable scouting report on these pitchers today. They are finding barrels. They are not trying to do too much. Guys are staying in a big part of the field and hitting everything on the screws. to the plate now Renato Nunez as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one ready with the 1 0 pitch Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Oh, shaking his head on that knuckle curve. One and two. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Still one and two. Seven runs, eight hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Now every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Stepping in now, Tommy Edmonds. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. The 1-0. Fly ball right down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball.
the 1-1. One, one. Well, that's off the plate. Two one pitches, a knuckle curve taken for called strike two. He's set. Here's the two two. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. And he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Into the box, number 35. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. One and one the count now. Fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Seven runs, eight hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Orioles leave one, but they're still in control, seven to nothing. Dean Kramer will come on and pitch for the seventh time here this spring. Number 31, Dean Kramer. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the 8th and ninth inning. High fly ball out to straightaway center. McKenna is camped under this one. One pitch, one away. First baseman, number 17, Reese And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Owen won the count. Now here it comes. Ball one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. One out, nobody on. And a half-hearted attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now.
two and two. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. There's ball four. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. At the plate, Nick Williams. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. And that misses inside 1-0. Runners on first with one down. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Now the 2-0 -oh home. I got 3-0. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Into the box, Omar Narvaez. He's ready, here's the first offering. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Big spot right here. Got to find a way to get back in this ball game and scratch a run across. 0-1 oh, count. Here's the pitch. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Oh, and two. Here it comes. The count is one and two. Uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. A ball and a strike. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Two men are on with two men out. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Two strikes. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And the second run will score as well. This thing was a double or more the second it left his back. He really drove it well, and it ended up one-hopping the wall out there. And more importantly, he picks up two RBI along the way. Number 26 will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Uh, needed to lay off that pitch upstairs, but it's one and one. 
That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. The 1-1 home. Misses above the zone for a ball. I got two on the count. Now the 2-1. Hot shot to third. Throw in time and the side is retired. So it's two runs on one hit. No errors and one man left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Orioles lead it 7-2. Jared Eichhorn is on his way to the mound now as he'll work in his eighth ball game here this spring. Now in the box, Dwight Smith Jr. will start things out against Jared Eichhorn as this inning gets underway. Here's the first pitch to him. And he gets ahead 0-1. Good curveball. Strike two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back to the plate. Curveball. Strike three called. And he didn't like it, but there's the first out. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen. Calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one not sure the hitter would want to hear that though standing in now number 79 one ball no strikes the count swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one I call a six foot four inch right hander. He was selected in the 15th round back in 2011. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Now look out as this one sends him sprawling. It's ball two now. All even now, two and two. Fouls this one off. Now another 2-2. Two, two. This is on the ground over to first. Hoskins has it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The pick of the 31. Team. Jared, Jared Duran will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 11, Jared Durant. Too high, 1-0. Oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. Popped him up. Gonzalez is there and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They're on top seven to two. Your Dalton Jeffries enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 37, Dalton Jeffries. Ready for another shot now. Cesar Hernandez will lead things off here in the Philadelphia sixth. First offering on its way. Too high to start the inning. It's 1 0. And now pitch on the way. Big swing and a miss at the changeup, a ball and a strike. 
this offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Now a bunt attempt here. The one, two. On the ground to the right side. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Gene Segura, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. From the stretch. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. A runner at first with no outs here. And he misses two and one. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with his slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Heading out towards shallow right. Here comes Mancini. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, there's a base hit right there. Now they have a couple of runners on with less than two outs, but they're down by so much in this game that hopefully maybe they can get something started here in this inning. Yeah, 100%, Dan. I've played the game a long time. I've never seen a big league hitter given that bat away. You chip away and fight until that 27th out is made. Mark Withenshaw is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1-0. Kicks and deals. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Now the 2 0 -oh home. Swung on and belted. a three-run shot to straightaway right field and that lead is trimmed to 7-5 here. Well with no outs you can afford to give up a single but you can't afford to give up a three-run homer. He just caught too much of the plate. Now he's back to the drawing board. No outs and the inning is already an ugly one. Tanner Scott takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Bryce Harper will be the first one to greet him as he'll start fresh here with the bases empty following the home run. From 
down the stretch. Here's the pitch. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Looks like a lefty and a right-hander throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Now the 1-0. Count is one and two now. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone and he still swung at it. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Hoskins, 28 years old. He was a fifth round pick during the 2014 draft. Hey, when you come out in the middle rounds, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. Scott is a guy known for his lights-out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. Swung on, hit in the air, and deep. Got a chance, and gone! Reese Hoskins with a solo shot as it's now a one-run game, 7-6 to six now. As a hitter, that feels so good. The previous pitch ran in on him, trying to get him off the plate, but the next pitch, he mashes it out of here. Goes to show you, can intimidate him. Blake now, Nick Williams, as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1-0 home is taken strike one. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. He's through first and hustling for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. Just goes to show you, if you're going to throw that two-seam fastball away, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. Into the box now, Omar Narvaez. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. No hits to this point. The 1-0 is swung on and missed, strike one. Takes ball two and it's two and one. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. He's set and the two one pitch. Popped up. Nunez in foul ground. 
And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Four runs here in this half inning. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. But this is taken in on the warning track as the runner will tag from second. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. So striding in, Marwin Gonzalez, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. There's a strike with the breaking ball. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounding the strike zone. Men on third with two down. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. Ready on 0-2. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. So it's four runs on five hits, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning coming up. Baltimore's out in front, 7-6. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Mike Morin will come on now, and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Kyle Higashioka will also come on now, as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Sam Travis is up off the bench, as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 and 0. The pitch. A little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Now the 2-1 pitch. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Crowd gets up for the three-two. A bouncer up the middle, reined in. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Next to the Orioles, the second baseman, Oscar Alberto. DJ Stewart will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. The 1-0. Fouled away. The 1-1.
Bases are empty, one man out. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. High in the air out to center field. Withenshaw is under this one. And there's the second out of the inning. Now batting the right fielder, Trey Mancini. Austin Hayes will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Just off the outside and it's 1-0. Two out, nobody on. A ball and a strike. I got a ball, one strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here it comes. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Harper on the run. And this is hauled in on the run as he takes quite a tumble but hangs on. And the inning is over. Final look at this tumbling catch out there in right field. More spring training baseball from Florida following this. Austin Hayes stays in the game after pinch hitting and he'll be patrolling right field. Now playing right field. Arotis Viscaino gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Jose Rondon is also into the ball game now as he takes over at second. Number 21, Jose Rondon. Number 12 will also come in now as he takes over out in center. Standing in, Kyle Higashioka. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Hit on the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first. In time, one away. Scott Kingery will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. And he lays off there, 1-0. Here it comes. And 2-0 and now as this misses below the knees. And the pitch. Swung on and missed. Two and two. Got 
got him looking with the fastball as that had some two-seam movement to it. Two gone. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Vizcaino, 30 years of age. He's a nine-year major league vet. Bases are empty here with two men out. Behind 0-2 now. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And McCutcheon has himself a base hit. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment. Able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Now pitching for the order. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Zach Collins will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. A runner on first with two away. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2 0. And he gets this fastball over. It's 2 1. Don't know for sure, but I think he may have been taking there thinking his teammate on first was going to be on the move. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. McCutcheon rounds the corner and is headed home. He'll score and the Phillies tie it. It's now a 7-7 seven seven game. You know, D-Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Fouled off. It's his job to get something into the outfield and give that go-ahead run a chance to score from second. Come set. The 0-1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Smith will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One for the Phillies here on the RBI double. We'll march on to the eighth, and we're deadlocked here at 7 7. Scott Kingery will remain in the game at second base after coming on as a pinch hitter in the last half inning. Number 25, down 10. Bill Townsend will stay in the game, taking over in right and batting number nine. Nick Pavetta has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 11 is also into the game as he takes over at short. Adam Halsey will also come in now as he takes over out in center. 
Cedric Mullins is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eight. Number six. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Mullins playing here in his age 26 season. He was a 13th round pick back in the 2015 MLB draft. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. Yeah, that's the spot right there for an 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt, especially with the bases empty. The 1-2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Time now for our starter comparison. And that tells the story, as you can see. Neither guy able to get past five innings. Greg Jones will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Number two. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Swing and a miss, strike one. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Now the 2-1. swing and he pops him up this is right out in front of the mound and that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two now back number 35 Tomas Nido will come on as a pinch hitter number three Tomas Nido Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Both teams with eight hits in this one. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. From the windup, the 2 1 pitch. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to 3 and 1 now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And it's fouled away. And here's the 3 2. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Still tied seven to seven. When Greg Jones is the new shortstop as he stays in the game after entering as a pinch hitter. Tomas Nido will remain in the game in the eighth spot and take over at catcher. Number 
now Patrick, number three. Pat Valaika will also enter as he takes over at third base. Number six is up off the bench as he will pinch hit here in the bottom of the eighth in a tie ball game. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Fouls this one off. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. The 1 2. Fouled away. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. The 1-2. A swing, and it's popped in the air back behind first. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Plate now, Nick Williams, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Fastball high, and it's quickly 2 0. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen now as they've got a left hander up and throwing. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And there he goes toward second. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Hayes is there and he'll bring this one in. Kim Gallagher will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And the runner back safely. Perhaps wisely, another look to first. And a dive, but he's back in there. Oh, and he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Oh, and one count and the pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. In now, Marwin Gonzalez standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Mm -hmm. 
Fastball well outside. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. Don't want to forget about it. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Up high, two and one now. Here's a look over to first, and he'll be back in standing up. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. the stretch the 3-1 home lifted in the air out towards left center Smith is under it and he makes the catch for out number three one left for Philadelphia this remains a seven all time number six stays in the ball game after pinch hitting as he'll take over at first base number six Hector Neris will be on the mound to start the ninth Number inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that will bring up the outfielder, Dwight Smith Jr. First pitch on its way. Late one ball, one strike. The one one is laid off for ball two. Three and one. Number seventy nine waits on deck. Count full, three balls and two strikes. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. At the plate, number 79. This will chase one up around the letters here for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the splitter, and it's one and two. Pitch on the way. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far.
Colin Walsh. We'll get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. One and oh, here it is. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. One and one. Here it is. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitter's meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. Two and two. Here it is. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Still tied seven to seven. Michael Gibbons enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Stepping up to the plate, Kyle Higashioka. Here's the first pitch to him. In on the hands of it with the fastball, it's 1-0. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1 0. Fouled off. A little bit outside. 2 and 1. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Uh, he did well to get a piece that time, and it'll stay two and two. And the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. And in steps Scott Kingery. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Oh, and that nearly sent us home and sent this crowd into hysterics, but it'll wind up a foul ball. A ball and a strike to the Phillies' leadoff man. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lays off it to even the count, two and two. Mm, just low with the slider there, that's ball three. Number 11 waits on deck.
Now the three and two pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Number 11. So coming to the plate, number 11. He's ready for his first A.B. here in this one. And now pitch on the way. Ready with the 1-0. The ball and a strike. One and one. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. This remains a seven all time. Morgan Rodriguez takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Digging in, number 12. This will be his first trip to the plate in this one. The better field, number 12. BB Wilkinson. He's set, here it comes. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Love that pitch. As long as you actually get it inside like he did right there, the cutter inside is a very effective pitch. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And a ball, one strike. That's lifted the other way out to left. Williams is under it. One away. Now that the second base is a long gun. Here now is Jose Rondon. First pitch of the at bat on its way. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, one and one. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. One. Misses low. Good take on the curveball there. Swing a soft liner, and this is taken for the out. Now that the right field. Off to hey. Digging in now, Austin Hayes. Here comes the first pitch. One and oh, here it is. Hit on the ground to third. Gonzalez is there. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. And we are tied 7-7. Ty Block comes on to start the home 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. Bottom of the inning now, and coming forward, the rookie outfielder, Adam Halsey. First delivery to him on the way.
pitch on the way. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Swing and a ground ball to third. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now back, the right field, RV Townsend. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Phillies, Harvey Townsend. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. Get down the line at first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The bat, number six. Riding in once again, number six. He reached on a single in his first try. Here's the pitch. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. Two out, nobody on. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. And there's ball two now. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Even a two and two. The pitch. And it's up to a three two full count now. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Into the windup, the payoff pitch. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Throw on to first, and we are going to the 11th inning. Phillies down in order, still tied 7 to 7. Victor Arano takes the mound to start the 11th inning. Eleventh inning set to get underway and set to go as the third baseman, Pat Valaika. The third baseman, number seven. Pat. He's set and the pitch. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Takes this the other way to right. And this is going to get down for what should be extra bases. And there's your potential go-ahead run. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. When you heard the crack of the bat, you just knew that was going to get down for an extra base hit. Great way to start an inning, that's for sure. Standing in now, Greg Jones. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He popped out in his first trip. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. 
barehanded on the move. He is out. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having a chance to score. So a big moment in the ball game here. Tomas Nido, although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. Here's the first pitch. One out. Well, this is a strikeout situation, but it's also a ground ball situation. I expect we'll see a lot of pitches down in the zone trying to prevent the hitter from getting the ball up in the air. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. And now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. And a big out there as the go-ahead run stays at third with two gone now. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. At the plate now, Dwight Smith Jr. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And he bats in a big spot here. Go ahead, run at third. Two men out. Hot shot on the ground is short. Scooped up. Throw on to first. Gets him, and the side is retired. One left for the Orioles. This remains a seven all time. Richard Blyer takes over now to start the home 11th, and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12th. Set now for the bottom of the 11th, and standing in the outfielder, Nick Williams. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one. Smoke toward third, reined in. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Lion O'Keefe will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Target here, and he hits it for strike one. Weak grounder down the first baseline, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Late Marwin Gonzalez. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here's the first pitch to him. Good pitch to hit a sinker down the chute, but it's taken for a strike. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. A 
Another one sent foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Again, another foul ball. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Still tied seven to seven. David Robertson gets the ball as he'll take over to start this 12th inning. Stepping in, number 79 comes in 0 for 4 with an RBI in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he takes ball one. A ball and a strike. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two. been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter if he finds a way to get on base this could spell for a huge inning and possibly an interesting development here it's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings man when the game is tied the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter got to focus on getting that ground ball now Digging in, Richard Blyer, a textbook sack bunk situation here. Here's the first pitch. Now a bunt attempt here, but they'll just get the one out here as the runner will get back safely at first. A note now from the folks in programming. Due to the length of our contest this afternoon, our afternoon cooking program in the kitchen with Scott Rohde will not be seen this afternoon. Ladies, don't shoot me. I'm just a messenger. Digging in the switch hitter, number 12. There's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Here's the first pitch. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Thought about it, but he holds up on the knuckle curve, one and two. Pitches mishandled behind the plate and it bounces away. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. Yeah, that's an unfortunate pass ball. And you can bet the catcher is kicking himself about it right now. With the runner advancing to second, the double play is off the table. Might come back to haunt him. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. One thing's clear, he's not afraid to pitch inside, right? One pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly this pitcher, he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. 
And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that 3-2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. Striding into the box, Jose Rondon. Here's the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. The one and one pitch. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. He's fallen behind now, three and one. If he concedes the walk here, he's in real trouble of giving up a big inning. It's not all that bad yet, but dealing with the bases loaded will make it pretty tough to wiggle out of. Chop down the third baseline, but this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. First and second now, one man out. Pulls this one in the air out to left. A dive, but it's off his glove. Throw comes in quickly here, so that'll hold that go-ahead run at third now with still only one away. The white field, number 32. So now to the plate, Austin Hayes. Now a ball hit sharply toward third. And he has broken this one open as this is down for extra bases. He pulls into second safely as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. Boy, we thought this one was going to go way into the night. That is a big base hit here in extra innings to give them the lead by two. Yeah, Dan, you know as well as I do. It gets to the extra innings. Everybody tries to go deep and end it with one swing and a bat. That's a nice job to stay within himself and drive in a pair. Zach Eflin takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Here's the 0-1 pitch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. This is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in, and from the offensive standpoint, you're just trying to create hard contact and get it by that infield. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this is swung on and missed, so they come right after him, and it remains second and third, but with two away now. The battle, number two. Coming to the plate now, Greg Jones, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. And that is going to get down for extra bases as this will drive home two. He's in at second safely as they also score a pair of runs on the play. When this one left the bat, the pitcher was hoping and praying it would go foul. And I thought it might, but it ends up falling just inches inside the line, going for a double and driving in two. Into the box, Tomas Nido. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 0 1 pitch. Spin and a throwback 
to second and a dive but he's back. Good lead off his second there now the pitch. A couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitters count. Now the 2 1 pitch is laid off of for ball number three. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor three and one. The 3 1. Full count three and two. And that misses ball four so it's first and second now with two out just a nice piece of hitting right there especially in extra innings he didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero he just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk we'll see if his teammates can pick him up now in now for the O's Dwight Smith Jr. trying to avoid the dreaded hat trick here he's 0 for 5 all told first pitch of the at bat Two men are on with two men out. I had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's one and one now. Man, I know this feeling, how frustrated this hitter is right now. We used to have a saying in the dugout, don't be that guy. When everybody's getting hits, don't be the guy that takes the over. But you got to zone up. You can't be chasing. A ball and two strikes now. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Here now the 2-2. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3 2. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Two down, runners at first and second. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase, and he makes the catch in the corner. Nine men come to the plate for score. And now we'll see if what's left of this crowd can rally their troops. Bottom of the 12th inning coming up. It's the Orioles 11 and the Phillies 7. Sean Gilmartin enters from the pen now as they've saved their closer until this deep into extra innings. Sean Gilmartin. of the 12th inning now and now it will be the catcher Kyle Higashioka down by a bunch here and what makes it even more difficult they're facing the closer not going to be an easy task trying to tie this one or go ahead here at home in there for strike one oh and one probably a design take right there they need base runners so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone and he misses with it one and one swing and he pops him up this is right out in front of the mound Gil Martin will take it himself for the first out of the inning now back to the top of the lineup stepping in Scott Kingery he's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. One out, nobody on. Two and one. Oh, 
three and one. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep too. Now a check swing, but he holds up too late, and it's full now at three and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Number 12 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Now batting, number 11. Stepping in and ready for another shot, number 11 batting from the right side with the southpaw on the mound. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Hey, love the pitcher attack in the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder is on the move. Makes the catch. And that's the ball game. Man, that was definitely a hard-earned victory, but that's what's going to make it even more satisfying. They take it in 12 innings on the road, and it's all smiles now. An 11-7 final in this one. Baltimore put on a real offensive show with 11 runs on the board. Richard Blyer takes home the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.